And we have continuing coverage after a body is found inside a vacant home last week. The Montgomery County Coroner's Office has identified the body as 41-year-old James Briscoe. The home he was found in was destroyed in a fire four months ago. Family and friends are mourning their loss as they're still waiting to find out how he died. Two News reporter Kristen Escout live outside that home in Dayton after talking with one of his friends. Brooke, authorities still haven't said how long James Briscoe's body may have been in the basement of this home, which authorities say was vacant at the time of the fire four months ago. Police tell us he was reported missing in December and was last seen the day before the fire. The Montgomery County Coroner's Office says it was the body of 41 year old James Briscoe found in this home on South Irwin Street. Police say Briscoe was reported missing in December. His sister, she was on Facebook tirelessly for weeks just asking about her brother if anybody knew anything to please come forward. David Hale Jr. has known Jimmy Briscoe since middle school. He was always a good guy, very athletic when we grew up, loved sports. He's always been really close to his family. His sister and his brother him have always been real close. When Briscoe was reported missing, police told us they were concerned because family said he may not be taking his medication. Police say he was last seen December 22nd, the day before the fire. A neighbor found his body last Friday when he was looking for his dog. It kind of makes me wonder, did they overlook him when they put out the fire initially? Was he here all winter long, froze? You know, I don't, I don't know. Authorities say it's not yet known if Briscoe died in the fire. Although Hale says he has many questions about what happened, he's comforted knowing Briscoe's family finally has some answers. Hopefully they get the closure they need, even though they didn't find him alive, you know. Now hopefully they get the closure they need with him being found and they can just put him to rest. And the coroner's office has not released a cause of death. Now, earlier this week, the Dayton Fire Department told us although it was a vacant home, they searched the building at the time of the fire until it was no longer safe for them to be inside. A fire department spokesperson says their investigation is ongoing. For now, we're live in Dayton. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.